Nice job. Woo! Shark in the boat! Woo! Shark in the boat! Heck yeah! Woo! High five. We moved this beautiful black tip shark to the back of the boat. I believe she is mostly dead, but we're gonna make this quickly, quick and painless. And uh, this is indeed a female shark here. She doesn't have any claspers, so that tells me that it's a female. Um, and this fish obviously is not pregnant or anything. But let's go ahead and gut her first. That's the most important step. Just gonna be careful because she could be still alive. This is the most important thing to do when you harvest fish on, when you harvest sharks, they pee through their skin, their urea. So you wanna make sure you always gut them on the boat. You do have to leave the shark intact, but you do need to open up the guts and take the guts in the uh, innards out because that's what'll make the taste of the meat not good. This is how you do it, folks. <laughs> you gotta pick it up, you can't just roll it in. No. <laughs> All right, shark's been gutted, and now you're supposed to cut sever the tail as well. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's just supposed to help with the blood drainage, um, and I'm not going to sever the tail off completely because it is illegal to do so. Gotta have the fish in whole condition while you're out on the boat. Not bleeding out, but that's okay. Cut it halfway. Now we're gonna fill the cavity with ice and bring her home for the cleaning portion of this video. All right, folks, we are back at the house. I'm gonna apologize for the wind right off the bat. You can see behind me, it's pretty crazy out here. The storm is approaching Florida. I've got a couple different knives with me today. I am using, which I haven't really showed you before, this is an eight inch sport edge bony knife from Smith. And the bony knife is going to be perfect for this shark because it's super sharp, really stiff, and it should be able to help me get through these cartilage and through this really firm meat. So first things we need to do, you see how awkward he is, very awkwardly shaped. I got this big head here. So what I need to do first is I'm gonna cut the head off and then we're gonna remove all the peck bins. So I think the best way to do this is to go in over here and just kind of feeling with my knife where to cut, angling up towards the head, past the gills. We don't wanna eat the gills. Beautiful Atlantic black tip shark as we talked about before. And I, this is a sustainable harvest, of course. I don't wanna keep repeating myself, but I just wanna let you guys know that this shark is not going to waste. We are gonna eat as much of him as we possibly can. So I'm just gonna angle this up, go around those fins, and we're gonna cut right through the cartilage. And you do need to use a little bit of muscle here, but you can see this sharp knife is making quick work of this fish. Angle it back down. So you're allowed to go out there and keep one of these per day. So it just goes to show you that this is a highly managed shark population and everybody here pays attention to the species and the population of the black tips. All right. All right, head is removed. You got the top pet coral fins. I also wanna show you in here really quick. Check this out. Look at these crazy things in here. Double row of serrated teeth, and those are unprovoked shark attacks on the beach. They are the ones that usually accidentally bite swimmers because they're so prevalent and really thick in the surf here in Florida beaches. Let's get rid of this jaw. You can keep the jaw if you want, of course, and uh, you know save that because the jaw of that shark is in the head there. All right, now we're gonna remove all the fins. Oh, and last thing I want to show you, the reason that it is a black tip, because this last anal fin here, before the caudal fin, is totally white. If it was a spinner shark, it would be black. All right, now you can see we've got a beautiful black tip shark plug here. This is how you would fillet your standard mako shark or your standard swordfish. I've never caught either one of those, but just following the basic rule of how you would fillet a big fish like that. Now it's time to spray it off and get into filleting out the meat. I would say this is like a solid 30 pounds of meat right here. And don't worry, none of it is gonna go to waste. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the same knife, the eight inch sport edge, edge sport bony knife, and we're just gonna make a cut here by the head, where the head was, and we're gonna follow that cartilage backbone down. I'm just gonna be feeling the cartilage as I go down 
And like I said, like this is, you need to use some muscle when you're filleting sharks, or if you ever want to fillet a shark, because it's very tough skin, very firm meat, and this skin is like sandpaper. You get a shark, shark rash, shark rash is what it's called when you handle a shark or you get their skin on you. So make that cut all the way down. This knife is perfect for that. Don't forget about my code, DARSIZZLE15 for 15% 15 off your purchase on these awesome knives. And I'll link all that information down below on Smith Products website because they're a huge supporter of this channel. And then we're just making those cuts. As you can see, we're gonna go all the way down to that cartilage and you know sharks don't have any real bones other than their jaws. But the spine in here is gonna be strictly just cartilage. I'm just feeling as I go along. And the cartilage spine bone does stick out a little bit. Nice long strokes. All right, so now that I made that initial cut all the way down, what I wanna do next is I'm gonna break them up because this is an awkward, huge, long fillet to deal with. So what I'm gonna do is probably gonna start in this tail section right here, and we're gonna make it into manageable sections. It's gonna be much easier to handle, and this is what you would do with all big fish. I'm just gonna fillet off down to the other piece, down the other side of this fish. Wait till you see this shark meat. It's very, very similar to swordfish or mako, like I said. crazy that skin is. All right, look at that piece of meat. Not bad at all, really, really firm. Look at those delicious steaks. And right here, you can actually see that bloodline. There's a lot of blood that stays on the side of the skin here, or close to the skin of the animal. All right, now I'm gonna skin this little section I just pulled off. I just switched my knife to my favorite skinning knife for larger uh, fish that I catch. And this is the nine inch Lawaya filet knife, really bendable and flexible, super sharp. All right, so let's see what we can do here. We're gonna keep the knife up away from the skin. We're not gonna be directly on the skin like I usually like to do with most fish I like to catch. And like I said, because of that bloodline here, I learned that a couple years ago after catching and harvesting sharks, you just don't wanna do that. And that's the sacrifice you take. So you see, you see that? We left all the blood here. And you can see, oh, there's a little bit of meat here, but that's not a big deal. That's not a lot of waste, but you can see how dark and how fishy that blood would be. So I just got a little on the filet there, which is no big deal, we'll clean that up. I would not recommend eating that whatsoever, but that is a beautiful shark steak right there. So let's go ahead and knock off the rest of the side of this beautiful animal. All right, there we go. We got a lot of meat right here. As you can see, we just got this whole side off this beautiful shark. And right here, you can see part of that um, cartilage spine bone here. And that does feel like regular bone, actually. It sounds like regular bone, but it's not. That's all cartilage, easy to cut through. Beautiful fish. And as you can see, I'm just gonna do the same exact thing you saw on, um, I just showed you, I'm on the other side of this fish and clean them up. And none of this fish is going to go to waste. Another way you can do this too, real quick. You see the bloodline right here? right going through the middle. Like I said, that's not gonna be good to eat. So a cool thing you can do too is just go like this. Keep your knife up. And skin off a beautiful slab of shark meat. Just like that. Look at that. That is gonna be delicious. I am excited. All right, but let me finish this up.